Right, so what we've got here, Phil, it looks like the uh, Volantix Ranger 2000. That's two meters, right? Yeah, defo, yeah. You have added your head tracking system. So this is the one that was actually off the Aqua. What, Bits right? and pieces, yeah. The framework is the servos are the servos you showed in the video where we hacked both of them with a particular resistor uh, to give um, almost continuous rotation. And then when you limit that's a single signal left and right from center on your transmitter. You can more or less look straight the way back and in shot with this one at 85% of full movement, you can see straight back, uh, motor propeller, fin, rudder, and then all the way around to the other side, no problem at all. And this is a known FPV machine, right? That it comes like this with, well, it the, comes with canopy, uh, right? the foam canopy underneath a black one, yeah. which is aerodynamically a streamlined. This is the foam one I've painted black with acrylic paint. I've reinforced this because it's just foam, nothing else, with lots of one mil carbon rod all over the place just to give it some rigidity. I love the switch that you add so that you can switch the Vista on and off so it doesn't overheat. Yeah, That's it just saves a bit of aggro, yeah. And uh, you sprayed this black. Yeah, with um, some Halfords acrylic paint, uh, black satin, I think. Black is really good when it comes for dynamic range. I think this one, has it got like a hole for a It did have, camera? yeah, it had a hole in the center bottom for a small HD recorder. The two side holes are for cooling, air vent, airflow over the battery and yeah. the ESC. But given that it's barely one or two degrees Celsius today, uh, I blocked them off and I wanted to see if it made any difference to the drag because I found oh, look at that. when yeah. landing, uh, the approach, it feels like it's flying with a small parachute, drone shoot out the back, very draggy. Yeah, okay, let's go fly it. Okay. Okay, we go. So, as this one's got no landing gear, you have to launch it manually, of course. No, this doesn't have anything fancy on it yet such as I have, so Phil's hand launched it and he's got a chair down there and he's gonna get the plane in like an upward position so that he can stick his goggles on. Trainer signal recovered. I'm gonna film it line of sight for a bit but then I'm also gonna watch him in audience mode because we are golden hour here, and it should look pretty nice. Trying out a new zoom camera here, so apologies if uh, it's taken me a little bit of time to adjust it. It zooms more, but the problem that I've got is that when the sun is at the side of my eye, you pretty much go blind. So how are you doing, Phil? Are we FPVing yet? Any second. Oh, let's focus that. Right, I'm in the room. In the room. How's it looking? Sunny. Ah, yeah. Okay, circling back over for the patch. There we go. Those boys down there are freezing cold. Well, if you don't mind, I'm going to enter the room with you. Wipe your feet. <laughs> right, stop the recording on my camera. And like I said to um, Fubar Phil the other day when we tested this, initially with um, grey, you know, skies. Don't be disappointed if the resolution doesn't look great. Today, it feels amazing. We've got in incredibly long shadows. The sky is so blue for miles around. And there's hardly any wind and buffeting. Oh, and this is, wow. this is what I wanted. This is so, look at so that, creasy man. because the wind up there is like, I mean, look at that wingtip to the horizon. There's nothing going look, on look there. Look down, man, look down, look down. When you look, looked over to the wing and then looked down, I bet that looks good. So like there and then down. Dude. Dude. Yeah, this is nice. I almost put, we got um, a three cell lithium ion pack. Is it um, about 3000 milliamp hour we use on the Cobb, Andy? Yeah, that's it. That, yeah. that would give this thing about a, 
hours flight time almost because I can wow. get about 25 30 minutes on this three cell lipo pack so I'm running the um, Calix Vista on a three cell 1300 separate battery pack which helps with the center of gravity and penetration when the wind's a bit dicey look at that look, turn. all the way back all the, wow man well, wow. I'm literally just looking over my left shoulder so similar to when we flew the Bix 3 glider with two um, 180 degree servos on top of each other but with this motion set up on one servo, I have to really crank my head all the way back to see it. Look at that, man. But yeah, it's good, it's realistic. By the way, you guys watching, if you've seen any tiny bits of breakups, because I, I'm recording this in audience mode, so you don't quite get, well, you don't get anywhere near as good as reception as you do when not in audience mode, I should say. But uh, because we are out here in the sticks in the middle of nowhere, uh, it's really only when you get behind trees that uh, things start to break up, or I'm uh, not facing the right. That's way an amazing my shot there. Look at that sun, man. Do you Look know how what? stable it is. Do you know what, though? It reminds me we have not got much time left. To be... I'm milking it. This will do 20 minutes from this point <laughs> onwards. No, I want to fly. I mean, looking at that, that sun shot, that, that's energy in life all there. Look at it. That's just beautiful. Energy Look at this, I can see sun rays, man. Or it's just moisture in my goggles. That's crazy. I love that. FPV is life, man. Head tracking FPV, on the other hand, is better than life. Reference to Red Dwarf there. All you Red Dwarf fans. Yeah, I'm getting break up there. Uh huh. Uh, you, you obviously. I'm good. Aren't. I'm clear. Yeah. yeah, you'll be clear. I uh, think it's just uh, literally when you turn around yeah. and I don't move my head. Pretty incredible considering... Uh, I, I like audience mode, I do. It's Especially fun to sit there and watch and let someone else sweat about flying. <laughs> Some people say when you're in audience mode and someone else is doing the head tracking, you get motion sickness. I think they are telling porkies unless I'm just that used to it I don't get that I've been to Alton Towers loads ah uh, yeah I've been thrown all over the place I don't care yeah 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 as long as the scenery is good it's okay you can almost see Alton Towers <laughs> you can almost see Alton Towers from there <laughs> it is in that a direction there somewhere <laughs> 100 miles away but in that direction but I can see why these, I mean, this is, a, this is a nice day, it's freezing cold, but the air, there's a gentle breeze, and this thing is, I can see why, these are great cruisers for FPV. Yeah. What happens if you look down at, like, your cockpit? Not a lot there. Not a lot there, and down to the side, what, what, like, can you see the side of the model if you look all the way down, or is it limited? I had to limit the, the down pitch on the camera, um... Because the framework, this was sure. built for the uh, primarily for the acro one. Ah, of course. Um, and I can alter this. See, that's what I'm, this is all practice with. I'm going to develop this further. So I want to have that crazy downward side shot like we had with the fun cubs. Oh, uh, yeah. It's all a development, man. It's all a development. Yeah. I mean, this, you know, this is a honest to God, freezing cold, about one and a half degrees Celsius day. Um, beautiful sunshine, but my fingertips are hanging off. My feet have gone yeah. to sleep. So you're not going to go for that hour's flight time then, no? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get home and need to be properly dethrosted. But yeah, in summertime when we've got, um, you know, shorter shadows and actual warmth, th this is going to be amazing. We'll go for like duration flights with this thing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this, this will easily take like um, a 6S uh, Lion pack in uh, parallel. So, yeah. you know, uh, what's that? So just under over 12 volts. Um, but yeah, we, we could crack easy an hour and a half on this. Yeah, like uh, Darren and Paul in, in the club, you know, like they're just sat there and you only ever see them have one flight. Yeah, because yeah. that's enough. <laughs> that's all. The battery will do it for that long. What about aerobatics, Phil? Is she good at aerobatics? Though? I'm not going to find out today. I think it's that cold. The plastic clips that keep the wing in place might just crack. Uh, I'm is, not pushing my luck. That is a good shout. But I'm so impressed when I just gentle bank there 
and the wingtip is just gently bobbling and she's just curling around yeah, all by herself. Beautiful. No flight control, nothing. Yeah. I didn't even balance the wings, I just threw it together. Looks absolutely stunning, even in audience mode. She is a good girl. Nice. Of course, we're using um, Caroline Tyler's um, uh, like DIY um, head tracker she built for us. This is, uh, is it the Mark II? Or oh, I'm using the Mark II yeah, GUI. Yeah, it's using uh, Cliff's uh, Arduino. Yeah, that rings a bell, yeah. Yeah, This Thank is you. so nice to use. Thank you, Caroline, for that. Yeah, you're a superstar. The uh, original Quantum ones, not very uh, reliable, should I say? Ah, uh, we've had two. Um, and after about a month or two's use, the pan um, signal goes on the gyro. You can reorientate it to use the... Um, uh, da, 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 the tilt, um, you've got the muck about, you know, changing channels, this, that, and the other, and then reposition it on goggles. But um, learn something, do the DIY thing, it's great. Can you look down at the patch? Just look down at the patch. Can you see? That's as far down as I can go, yeah. Circle can around. Can you the patch. just about see that little tiny red plane there? Yeah, that little squidgly thing. Look there. out for that in the yeah. future. That's a little chubby beast. <laughs> Oh my, oh, it's going to be a bit spinny there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> watch for that. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is perfect for cruising. I've been trying on and off with more power to get more height, but you've got a massive wing here. So if you give it loads of beans, you'll just stick a nose up um, and end up stalling, but climbing steadily like this, this seems to be pretty good. And we are oh. on, wow, just under 50%. You can see the angle of attack there, looking at the wing of the horizon. That's nice. Amazing, Phil. Best form of flying this. Best form of flying. It's like, uh, you know, DCS, Microsoft yeah. Flight Simulator, in real life. It's not in Look 3D. Horizon. Sweet. Look at that. That's an amazing shot. By the way, if you want to know how to do the servo mod to get that much out of it, is it almost 360 degrees? Uh, then there's a video on my channel. Search for 360 servo. Dead easy to do. If I can do it, anyone can do ha. it. So Just you... take your time and uh, use a small soldering iron. Small tip, about 15, 20 watt max. I think you've got uh, focus mode on, Phil. Uh, unless it's in my settings. Are you seeing... Uh, some lines down the side no slightly uh it's probably in my audience settings i didn't know you could uh separate that out but anyways yeah i usually have audience mode turned off or it might be on auto actually maybe it's on auto because i'm not seeing it all the time so again we're on a steady climb that's just bang on 50 percent power Very gentle nice. climb. How do you know uh, when your battery is running out? Well, when I look behind me, that round thing isn't moving anymore. Oh, is that <laughs> is that how you know? <laughs> That's going to have to be. Well, if uh, if you decide that your fingers get too cold and come in for a landing, I'll film your landing. We'll definitely get that on shot. Yeah. It's just nice to get back in the air, FPV, with a nice plane and sunshine. Yeah, and you can feel just a little bit of warmth. Not, it's, I mean, I mean, if, if you look down there, Phil, it's, uh, you look in the shadows, you see frost. Yeah. I mean, that's how cold it is. Um, it is like minus two or something stupid today. However, with that sun... I know, it's Maybe gorgeous. it's a placebo effect. I mm. feel like I'm feeling something, some warmth from it. Or it's the warmth from my goggles and the lipo. <laughs> so I'm just tickling my Aluon stick so the wingtips are just under the horizon. And that's, she just sits there. It's so good. Tickle, tickle. That's all it needs. That's beautiful.
but it can't be much longer before that sun hits the horizon. Yes. So I think what we'll do is we'll end up killing the power just here, do half a circuit, uh, so that's it, dead stick, look back, and it's still flutting, we're not doing a lot, there we go, almost stopped. Almost stopped. So you're, you're looking at dinner landing, yeah, because I want to film it. Yeah, I'm just going to circuit by the patch, see how we are on height. The glide feels good, gentle nose down. If you look at that horizon angle there, you can see my rate of distance, it's just nose down, just a tickle. Right, so touch it right there. Just a tickle. Over the trees. And then we're gonna hang a right past this next tree line. But we've got a feel for drag. This thing's got a massive wing, so if we need it, we just burst the power, breathe on the elevator, so turning there. Dropping gently, keeping the airspeed on. Over the gate. It looks high from here. We've got a Phil. bit of drift from the right. Let's do a low pass, let's see what happens. I'm going to go for between those trees, but over the patch. So, yeah, that feels like 50 foot. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, round again. So, power for stability. Control, watch the tree, flatten level, crank and bank a little bit, over the trees, feel for bumpy air, just a little bit going on there, not too tight on the circuit, open it up a bit here, that way you've got more time to approach over that direction where those trees are. Okay, that's about just over tree height. Level up here, past the gate, then make a turn. Okay, that's looking good. That's a lot lower now, so I can stretch out that approach, line her up. That feels good. Bit of bumpy and the drift, but watching that, keeping the nose in shot for approach, dead stick. Okay, all the way down. Oh, we're going to go for it. Ah. Uh, out the patch. That's it's good. Down. One piece. There you go, the Volantex cool. 2000. Where can you get it from, Phil? Is it like Banggood and AliExpress and all that? Yeah, business? shop around. I think she's out there still, yeah. Okay, cool. Beautiful machine. Okay, that's me signing off. And that's him signing off. <laughs> There's a bit of a two Ronnie's thing going on there.